Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This video I'm giving my thoughts on the Mute R. Kelly movement, the Me Too movement, the Time's Up movement, Lifetime, Surviving R. Kelly, and pretty much every, everything that benefit, benefited off of the demise of R. Kelly. Hashtag, where's Kale's money? Because I feel like all y'all owe R. Kelly money. Lifetime, y'all owe R. Kelly some money. Mute R. Kelly, y'all owe R. Kelly some money. Lisa Van Allen, all y'all owe R. Kelly some money. Don't get quiet now. Because I'm calling out everybody that owe Robert Sylvester Kelly some money. So just wait for it. Checkmate. Because y'all time is up. All right, so let's talk about how this mute R. Kelly debacle started. Tim Savage, Joycelyn's dad, kicked everything off by alleging his daughter was being held captive by R. Kelly. And from that, he reached out to blogger lady Tasha K and he reached out to this so-called activist Kenyatta Barnes. Funny thing is the only thing she's known for being an activist is is this mute R. Kelly thing in the Me Too movement. Nonetheless this is her claim to fame. So, Mute R. Kelly, styled as hashtag Mute R. Kelly, is a movement to have R. Kelly convicted of sexual abuse and to end financial support for his career. The campaign was founded by Kenyatta Barnes and I'm not even going to try to say this lady name, in July 2017, when she was informed Kelly was booked to perform at Fulton County-owned facility in Atlanta. Someone had to stand up for black women, and if I wasn't willing to do my part, no matter how small, then I couldn't continue to complain. It's time for us to end this man's career. Enough is beyond enough. Now, this man has not been con convicted of any crime. Nothing in particular has happened. And despite the allegations that this grown woman's parents were making, the woman clearly said she was willing and able to in being with R. Kelly. Contrary to what her father was saying, it was odd to say that she was a slave and being held captive when news reporters were running up on her at whim. And I would like to direct this message to my family, but especially my dad. Dad, you know everything that's going on with the media and the internet and what you have done is a complete disaster and you need to stop. 
because right now I am fed up with everything you are doing. You are embarrassing me and the whole entire family. I am happy where I'm at and the people that I'm around, and it's, it's getting out of hand, seriously, because honestly, you know the situation that had happened that night when I went to meet R. Kelly. So I would like for you, matter of fact, I would love for you to stop what you're doing, because this is, this is, this, I can't believe you even went this far. I love you to death, but I need you to understand me. Please stop what you're doing. Please. Of course, they're going to bring in Aaliyah by listing her age as 18 on the marriage certificate. The singer has also been sued and accused of su supposed sex with underage girl. On one count, it is apparent Kelly videotaped one of those encounters, which he was acquitted. The singer then went on to face more charges of underage child porn charges and sex cult claims no he wasn't that's some bullshit the singer denies all these allegations hmm. the movement has sparked some celebrity attention mainly some celebrity bullying some of r kelly's music collaborations received backlash and have been removed from streaming service. Yeah, after they done got their money. Surviving R. Kelly documentary series aired on Lifetime in January 2019. And the mute R. Kelly movement has grown. Ar artists such as Lady Gaga, Celine Dion, and the Pussycat Dolls have apologized and taken down their music on streaming services. Hmm. Time's Up movement released an open letter calling out Apple, Spotify, Ticketmaster, Sony, and other companies to end their financial relationship with R. Kelly. And it's just funny that in the history, no other artist, no other, no other entertainer has been subjected to such bullcrap. And it's crazy. It is absolutely absurd that nobody that has been convicted of heinous crimes such as rape, murder, robbery, prostitution, solicitation, none of those crimes have been muted, have been boycotted. And yet someone who was not even charged at the time had been boycotted and petitioned. That was not right. The fact that all these celebrities were allowed to get on their social media and cyber bully this man and humiliate him on their platforms for two years is beyond me. Beyond me. And it's crazy how you can watch some of them flip-flop. Like Wendy Williams, for example, how she don't know which way she want to go. One minute she on R. Kelly's side, one minute she's not. But, anyways. Again, they just called him out for two years. And not one person came to this man's defense to say anything. We watched it go from Mute R. Kelly, then they linked it to the Me Too movement, then they linked it to the Time's Up movement, all to fit in their agenda.
to fund their agendas, their selves. And it's crazy with this lady. Soon as she start this mute R. Kelly, all coincidentally, her house catches on fire. But soon as she realized she wasn't going to get a dime, she closes her GoFundMe account. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody following you, boo, because nobody cares about you. And as far as D. Barnes, you can kill that. I'll, I'm going to make a video about D. Barnes, too. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. If you don't know, D. Barnes is planning on making a, a tell-all book. She is a journalist who was assaulted by Dr. Dre a long time ago and was paid like $10 million and is now claiming she's homeless and, and it's crazy as fuck. How do you get $10 million and homeless and start a GoFundMe trying to get money from people? It's crazy. That's all these people do is try to get sympathy from the public. And you make real victims look bad. Like, I would respect all of these people a whole lot better if y'all really... If y'all really took y'all experience and made something better out of it. If y'all took y'all's bad experience and made it into a positive, a learning experience for somebody else. Like with this Me Too, instead of trying to bring down somebody, like instead of instead of making this whole thing mute R. Kelly, for example, instead of that, if 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 you would have, let me just pause this and I'm gonna bring you an example, cause it's some bullshit. All right. So in, instead of trying to mute R. Kelly, why don't you get in in lust after young girls and stuff like that? They don't know better. Teach them better ways. And if you're not gonna teach them better parts with the surviving R. Kelly the lifetime all that cancel everything regarding the new upcoming reality shows I don't want to see Drea Kelly I don't want to see Tim Savage I don't want to see none of them period conversation I've been bullied. comments where people were saying, or one person was like, oh, Dana J ain't reach out to no Kenyatta, Tisha Bonds, and this and this. Well, you know, I come with receipts. I just want to show you. Here it is right here. There's the message. And if you look at the bottom, you see what it say? You can't reply to this conversation. I've been blocked. But to read it for you, it says, it clearly says, it says, we are in the same city. I would love to have a sit down with you about a movement that you co-founded. However, this movement was founded on allegations. I would love to talk about facts on this situation. I'll pay for whatever y'all need me to pay for. Anyway, if you're up to it, I can be reached at djackson0807 at gmail.com. And so you were immediately blocked or was there something before that was a conversation before that? Immediately blocked. And then we talking about, then I'm going to jump to Daryl McDavid. So the founder of Mute R. Kelly was contacted by Dana J in order to shed light on some of the accusations being thrown out by janky ass Tim Savage and instead of talking to him hearing out what he had to say this clout chaser blocked him and went on with what she was doing chasing the clout starting up her GoFundMe 
page and trying to make her living off R. Kelly name. This. I like how people say that they this, they that, but her boyfriend, Chief the Don, I guess her manager or whatever, for when I told y'all that me and him had words, receipts. We had nice little words. Nice little words, nice sections. So sometimes you just gotta show people like, look, I ain't about that talking. So while we there, here's what the R. Kelly fans are gonna love. Now that R. Kelly has been tried in the public eye, that's totally a felony. And Kim Fox know it. If y'all think I'm lying, I looked it up. Now look at this, what I put together. It says, it's illegal to charge a person of a crime without verifying evidence. It's illegal to charge a person of a crime based off allegations. And it's illegal to showcase possible evidence before trial. Justice is needed for who? R. Kelly. Now you see why everybody changing their stories. Now, now they're not victims. They're not this. They're not that. I'm, I'm lost. So before anyone panics, I did ask Sugar and Spice permission to use her video. But before I go into hers, I want to first go into another video just warming up R. Kelly's net worth before the surviving R. Kelly bullshit. Hope of his talents by directing a film and bringing a musical to Broadway. Kelly is worth an estimated $150 million, the bulk of that coming from four sources. The success of his albums, his songwriting and producing credits, the royalties stemming from them, and at least 11 concert tours across the country and world. Over the past two years, he's made an estimated $35 million. Spice topic, yeah, slow wine. I'm still loving R. Kelly's all his hits. None of his hits give me no EBGBs, none of that. That's made up. It's none of that. Just keep listening. You'll be right jamming to, even if you're a hater, you'll be dancing to. Anyway, where is R. Kelly's money? Hashtag, y'all. Hashtag, where is R. Kelly's money? Hashtag, vindicate R. Kelly. Dana J asked us to promote that. Here's a list of R. Kelly's songs that he's written throughout the years. It's going pretty fast because it's so many. So, so many. Also, R. R. Kelly, he received a Grammy in 1998 for I Believe I Can Fly for Best R&B Song. He received another Grammy in 1998 for Male R&B Vocal Performance for I Believe I Can Fly he won he also received another grammy for song written for visual media in 1998 for i believe i can fly he was nominated in 2015 for r&b it's your world so and the list continues r kelly is a pioneer he's unanimous in his, in his crab it just is what it is where is r kelly's money give him his money we demand him his money Sony, what did y'all do with his money? Now, I don't even know if this video is going to continue to air because, yes, I'm using R. Kelly's song. I truly don't think R. Kelly minds at all. I want to promote his music. His music is still high. And honestly, his music can fly everybody off the radio today. If it wasn't for all these mute campaigns, movements, Lifetime, all these smear campaigns trying to blackball R. Kelly, you can't because his music has already hit the world like you said it's already affected the world so this man here you see awards and nominations he's received american music awards he won two times nominated 11 best bet awards one time nominated seven grammy awards three times nominated 25 mobile awards one time nominated three times mtv video music awards he was nominated seven times much music video awards 
nominated one time. Soul Train Music Awards won 11 awards. Nominated 29 times. BMI Awards, 19 awards. I'm nominated 19 times. NAACP Image Awards, 6 wins. Nominated 8. Source Hip Hop Awards, 2. Nominated 2. Vibe Awards, 3. Nominated 9. Awards 1, 110. Nominations, 274. This man is gifted. Hashtag, where is R. Kelly's money? Hashtag, vindicate R. Kelly. We not going down without a fight. And we say who, and we say when. When I say we say who, we say when, that means that we the people, whenever we stand together, who the hell is the news media? Who are they? We make the news. We shut them up. Let's continue to stick together for what's right. And let's stand against what's wrong. Let's be just. We get on our own kind, our own people when they wrong in our own loving way. And when I say we, I say people unified. This does not mean black only. This means all races. If you stand for supporting R. Kelly, then I mean a we. We don't need the news media doing nothing, breaking news. We don't need them tearing our, our peoples up. We got that. We won't tear them up. We gonna build them up with love. We gonna... Get on them when they're wrong. We're gonna check. We're gonna change the world together. So sit back, haters. Sit back, lovers. Check R. Kelly's music out while this lasts. Let's promote the man because this stuff is hot. 2019 still hot. Go ahead and dance because I know you're going to anyway. Peace.